In mathematics, the tensor product Vw of two vector spaces V and W over the same field is itself a vector space, endowed with the operation of bilinear composition, denoted by, from ordered pairs in the Cartesian product V times W onto Vw in a way that generalizes the outer product. The tensor product of V and W is the vector space generated by the symbols Vw, with V element of V and W element of W, in which the relations of bilinearity are imposed for the product operation, and no other relations are assumed to hold. The tensor product space is thus the «freest» or most general such vector space, in the sense of having the fewest constraints. The tensor product of finite dimensional vector spaces has dimension equal to the product of the dimensions of the two factors dim v w equals dim v times dim w display style dim v o times w equals dim v times dim w in particular, this distinguishes the tensor product from the direct sum vector space, whose dimension is the sum of the dimensions of the two summands dim v w equals dim v plus dim w display style dim v o plus w equals dim v plus dim w more generally, the tensor product can be extended to other categories of mathematical objects in addition to vector spaces, such as to matrices, tensors, algebras, topological vector spaces, and modules. In each such case the tensor product is characterized by a similar universal property, it is the freest bilinear operation. The general concept of a «tensor product» is captured by monoidal categories, that is, the class of all things that have a tensor product is a monoidal category. <laughs> Intuitive motivation and the concrete tensor product The intuitive motivation for the tensor product relies on the concept of tensors more generally. In particular, a tensor is an object which can be considered a special type of multilinear map, which takes in a certain number of vectors its order and outputs a scalar. Such objects are useful in a number of areas of application, such as Riemannian geometry, famous for its use in Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity in modern physics, where the metric tensor is a fundamental concept. In particular, the metric tensor takes in two vectors, conceived of roughly as small arrows emanating from a specific point within a curved space, or manifold, and returns a local dot product of them relative to that particular point an operation which encodes roughly the vector's lengths as well as the angle between them. As the dot product is a scalar, the metric tensor is thus seen to deserve its name. There is one metric tensor at each point of the manifold, and variation in the metric tensor thus encodes how that distance and angle concepts, and so the laws of analytic geometry, vary throughout the manifold. One can think of the tensor product of two vector spaces v v and w display style w as representing the set of all tensors that take a vector from v display style v and w display style w and output a scalar within their common base field and thus can only be defined if they have such a base field the two spaces may be the same in the above they are vectors in the tangent space at a point, roughly the flat space a tiny piece of the manifold most looks like when you zoom very, very close into a particular point therein, and thus the metric tensor lives in the tensor product of that space with itself. But they may also be different. If we have a basis for the vector spaces, and the vector space is finite dimensional, we can represent the vectors in terms of components under those basis vectors v equals v 1 v 2 v n w equals w 1 w 2 w m 
Display style Math BF V equals begin B matrix V underscore one V underscore two V D O T S V underscore N end B matrix Math BF W equals begin B matrix W underscore one W underscore two V D O T S W underscore M end B matrix Where each notation stands for the sum V equals V one E one plus V two E two plus plus V N E N Display style Math BF V equals V underscore one Math BF E underscore one plus V underscore two Math BF E underscore two plus C D O T S plus V underscore N Math BF E underscore N. A tensor is then a map T V W Display style T Math BF V Math BF W that works as above, returning a scalar and is linear in both of its arguments. Such a tensor can be represented using a matrix multiplication T V W equals V T T W Display style T Math BF V Math BF W equals Math BF V carrot T Math BF T Math BF W where the superscripted T denotes the matrix transpose which sends the vector V Display style Math BF V to its dual vector. Given two vectors, we can form a tensor of their own from them rather naturally using the outer product, which is denoted V W display style math BF V O times math BF W and equals V W T display style math BF V math BF W carrot T this tensor comes out as the matrix V W equals V 1 W 1 V 1 W 2 V 1 W M V 2 W 1 V 2 W 2 V 2 W M V N W one V N W two V N W M display style Math BF V O times Math BF W equals begin B matrix V underscore one W underscore one and an V underscore one W underscore two and an C D O T S and an V underscore one W underscore M V underscore two W underscore one and an V underscore two W underscore two and an C D O T S and an V underscore two W underscore M V D O T S and an V D O T S and an D dots and an V D O T S V underscore N W underscore one and an V underscore N W underscore two and an C D O T S and an V underscore N W underscore M and B matrix and this matrix corresponds to the tensor by the prior construction, which is reminiscent of how it corresponds to a linear map by multiplying on one side only. These tensors themselves generate a vector space by adding them together and multiplying them by scalars in the usual ways that we do for matrices and functions, and the collection of all such tensors so formed is the tensor product V W display style V O times W of the two vector spaces themselves. In fact, this space is equivalent to the space of maps represented by every possible matrix of the above size, as can be seen by noting that the simple tensor products E I F J display style math BF e underscore I o times math BF F underscore J here F J display style math BF F underscore J is the basis of the other vector space W display style W have a one in the I J 
Display style i j th position and zero s everywhere else, which allows them to be multiplied by any number and then added up to get a matrix with arbitrary entries. The purpose of the succeeding sections is to find a definition that is equivalent to this where it is applicable but which does not require a specific choice of basis and which can also more easily be applied to infinite dimensional settings where the usual basis concepts Hamel basis may be ill-behaved. Not requiring a specific basis is useful from a theoretical point of view since while every vector space has a basis, not all bases are necessarily constructible, and moreover that result itself depends on the acceptance of the axiom of choice which may be rejected in some systems of mathematics. Also, it is useful to find an abstract construction for analysis from the point of view of category theory, the theory of the very zoomed out, big picture of maths and how all mathematical objects relate to each other in a very general sense. A very important real-life use for having such a definition can be found in another field of modern physics called quantum mechanics. The tensor product in this form allows us to talk of the wave function of a system of two particles as an abstract Hilbert space vector without having to specify a specific basis of observables. Topic. Baby step toward the abstract tensor product, the free vector space The first step we will consider involves introducing something which is called a «free vector space» over a given set. The thrust behind this idea basically consists of what we said in the last point, since a tensor T can be written by the double sum T equals I equals one N J equals one M V I W J E I F J Display style t equals sum underscore i equals one carrot n sum underscore j equals one carrot m v underscore i w underscore j math b f e underscore i o times math b f f underscore j. The most natural way to approach this problem is somehow to figure out how we can forget about the specific choice of bases e display style math b f e and f display style math bff that are used here in mathematics the way we forget about representational details of something is to establish an identification that tells us that two different things which are to be considered representations of the same thing are in fact such i.e. which given those says either yes they are or no they aren't and then lump together all representations as constituting the thing represented", without reference to any one in particular by packaging them all together into a single set. In formal terms, we first build an equivalence relation, and then take the quotient set by that relation. But before we can do that, we first need to develop what we are going to take the equivalence relation over. The way we do that is to approach this the other way around, from the bottom up. Since we are not guaranteed a, at least constructible, basis when starting from arbitrary vector spaces, we might instead try to start by guaranteeing we have one. That is, we will start first by considering a basis on its own, as given, and then building the vector space on top. To that end, we accomplish the following, suppose that b b is some set, which we could call an abstract basis set. Now consider all formal expressions of the form V equals a one beta one plus a two beta two plus plus a n beta n Display style Math BF V equals a underscore one beta underscore one plus a underscore two beta underscore two plus C D O T S plus a underscore N beta underscore N of arbitrary, but finite, length N Display style N and for which A 
J Display style or underscore J A scalars and Beta J Display style beta underscore J A members of B Display style B Intuitively, this is a linear combination of the basis vectors in the usual sense of expanding an element of a vector space. We call this a formal expression because technically it is illegal to multiply a j beta j display style or underscore j beta underscore j since there is no defined multiplication operation by default on an arbitrary set and arbitrary field of scalars. Instead, we will pretend, similar to defining the imaginary numbers, that this refers to something, and then we'll go about manipulating it according to the rules we expect for a vector space, e.g., the sum of two such strings of the same length is a one beta one plus a two beta two plus plus a n beta n plus b one beta one plus b two beta two plus plus b n beta n equals a one plus b 1 beta 1 plus a 2 plus b 2 beta 2 plus plus a n plus b n beta n Display style a underscore one beta underscore one plus a underscore two beta underscore two plus C D O T S plus a underscore N beta underscore N plus B underscore one beta underscore one plus B underscore two beta underscore two plus C D O T S plus B underscore N beta underscore N equals a underscore one plus B underscore one beta underscore one plus a underscore two plus B underscore two beta underscore two plus C D O T S plus a underscore N plus B underscore N beta underscore N where we have used the associative, commutative, and distributive laws to rearrange the first sum into the second. Continuing this way for scalar multiples and all different length combinations of vectors allows us to build up a vector addition and scalar multiplication on this set of formal expressions, and we call it the free vector space over B display style B writing F B display style fluorine monoboride. Note that the elements of B display style B considered as length one formal expressions with coefficient one out front form a Hamel basis for this space. The tensor product expression is then abstracted by considering that if beta j display style beta underscore j and Gamma J display style gamma underscore J represent abstract basis vectors from two sets B display style B and G display style G i.e. that beta J equals E J Display style beta underscore j equals math bf e underscore j and gamma j equals f j display style gamma underscore j equals math bf f underscore j then pairs of these in the Cartesian product b times g Display style b times g, i.e. beta i gamma j 
Display style beta underscore i gamma underscore j are taken as standing for the tensor products e i f j display style math bf e underscore i o times math bf f underscore j. Note that the tensor products in the expression are in some sense atomic. I.e. additions and scalar multiplications do not split them up into anything else, so we can replace them with something different without altering the mathematical structure. With such an identification, we can thus define the tensor product of two free vector spaces F B and F G as being something yet to be decided which is isomorphic to f b times g display style f b times g topic using the free vector space to forget about the basis The above definition will actually work for any vector space in which we can specify a basis, since we can just rebuild it as the free vector space over that basis. The above construction exactly mirrors how you represent vectors via the Hamel basis construction by design. In effect, we haven't gained anything until we do this. Since we are assuming we don't actually have access to a basis for each vector space, v v and w display style w that we in general want to form the tensor product v w display style v o times w of we will instead do the next best thing and in some sense the one thing we are guaranteed able to do regardless of any concerns or problematics in finding a specific basis take all of v display style v and W display style W as basis to build up the tensors, which corresponds to actually what we did in the last part of the intuitive motivation section, where we considered adding together arbitrary outer products. V W display style math bf v o times math bf w of arbitrary vectors taken from the two spaces. The only difference here is that if we use the free vector space construction and form the obvious f v f w equals f v times w display style f v o times f w equals f v times w, it will have many redundant versions of what should be the same tensor, i.e. Going back to our basisful case, if we consider the very specific example where v equals w equals r two display style v equals w equals math bound r caret two in the standard basis, which is manageably small yet non-trivial, we may consider that the tensor formed by the vectors v equals o three t display style math bf v equals begin b matrix zero and and three end b matrix caret t and w equals five minus three t display style math bf w equals begin b matrix five and and minus three end b matrix carrot T IE T equals V W equals O O one five minus nine display style T equals Math BF V O times Math BF W equals begin B matrix zero and and zero fifteen and and minus nine end B matrix could also be represented by other sums, such as the sum using individual basic tensors E I E J display style Math BF E underscore I O times Math BF E underscore J E G T equals zero E one E one plus zero E one E two plus fifteen E two E one minus nine E two E two D 
Display style T equals zero Math BF E underscore one O times Math BF E underscore one plus O Math BF E underscore one O times Math BF E underscore two plus one five Math BF E underscore two O times Math BF E underscore one minus nine Math BF E underscore two O times Math BF E underscore two these, while equal expressions in the concrete case, would correspond to distinct elements of the free vector space f v times w display style f v times w, namely t equals v w display style t equals v w in the first case and t equals zero E one E one plus zero E one E two plus fifteen E two E one minus nine E Two E two Display style T equals zero E underscore one E underscore one plus O E underscore one E underscore two plus one five E underscore two E underscore one minus nine E underscore two E underscore two In the second case. Thus we must condense them. This is where the equivalence relation comes into play. The trick to building it is to note that given any vector v display style math bf v in a vector space it is always possible to represent it as the sum of two other vectors a display style math bf a and b display style math bf b not equal to the original if nothing else let a display style math bf a be any vector and then take B equals V minus a display style math BF B equals math BF V math BF a, which also shows that if we are given one vector and then a second vector, we can write the first vector in terms of the second together with a suitable third vector. Indeed, in many ways, just consider scalar multiples of the second vector in the same subtraction. This is useful to us because the outer product satisfies the following linearity properties, which can be proven by simple algebra on the corresponding matrix expressions the vectors below are generic, not the example ones above v plus w u equals v u plus w u Display style Math BF V plus Math BF W O times Math BF U equals Math BF V O times Math BF U plus Math BF W O times Math BF U U V plus W equals U V plus U W Display style Math BF U O times Math BF V plus Math BF W equals Math BF U O times Math BF V plus Math BF U O times Math BF W C V U equals C V U equals V C U Display style C Math BF V O times Math BF U equals C Math BF V O times Math BF U equals Math BF V O times C Math BF U If we want to relate the outer product V W Display style Math BF V O times Math BF W to say E one W Display style Math BF E underscore one O times Math BF W We can use the first relation above together with a suitable expression of 
v display style math bf v as a sum of some vector and some scalar multiple of e 1 display style math bf e underscore 1 Equality between two concrete tensors is then obtained if using the above rules will permit us to rearrange one sum of outer products into the other by suitably decomposing vectors regardless of if we have a set of actual basis vectors Applying that to our example above we see that of course we have v equals 0 e 1 plus 3 e 2 Display style Math BF V equals zero Math BF E underscore one plus three Math BF E underscore two W equals five E one minus three E two Display style Math BF W equals five Math BF E underscore one minus three Math BF E underscore two for which substitution in T equals V W display style T equals Math BF V O times Math BF W gives us T equals zero E one plus three E two five E one minus three E two Display style T equals zero Math BF E underscore one plus three Math BF E underscore two O times five Math BF E underscore one minus three Math BF E underscore two and judicious use of the distributivity properties lets us rearrange to the desired form. Likewise, there is a corresponding Mirror manipulation in terms of the free vector space elements v w display style v w and e one e one display style e underscore one e underscore one e one e two Display style e underscore one e underscore two, etc., and this finally leads us to the formal definition of the tensor product. Topic: The definition of the abstract tensor product. The abstract tensor product of two vector spaces v, display style v, and W display style W over a common base field is the quotient vector space V W equals F V times W display style V O times W equals F V times W sim where display style sim is the equivalence relation of formal equality which is generated by assuming that for each v w display style v w and v w display style v w taken as formal expressions in the free vector space the following hold identity v w v w Display style v w sim v w distributivity v w plus v w v plus v w display style v w plus v w sim v plus v w and v w plus v w v w plus w display style v w plus v w sim v w plus w scalar multiples c 
v w c v w display style c v w sim c v w and c v w v c w display style c v w sim v c w and then testing equivalence of generic formal expressions through suitable manipulations based thereupon. Arithmetic is defined on the tensor product by choosing representative elements, applying the arithmetical rules, and finally taking the equivalence class. Moreover, given any two vectors v element of v in v and w element of W display style math BF W in W the equivalence class V W display style V W is denoted V W display style math BF V O times math BF W topic properties Topic notation: Elements of VW are often referred to as tensors, although this term refers to many other related concepts as well. If V belongs to V and W belongs to W, then the equivalence class of V W is denoted by V W, which is called the tensor product of V with W. In physics and engineering, this use of the Symbol refers specifically to the outer product operation. The result of the outer product VW is one of the standard ways of representing the equivalence class VW. An element of VW that can be written in the form VW is called a pure or simple tensor. In general, an element of the tensor product space is not a pure tensor, but rather a finite linear combination of pure tensors. For example, if V1 and V2 are linearly independent, and W1 and W2 are also linearly independent, then V1 W1 plus V2 W2 cannot be written as a pure tensor. The number of simple tensors required to express an element of a tensor product is called the tensor rank not to be confused with tensor order, which is the number of spaces one has taken the product of, in this case 2, in notation, the number of indices, and for linear operators or matrices, thought of as 1, 1 tensors elements of the space VV, it agrees with matrix rank. Topic. Dimension. Given bases VI and WJ for V and W respectively, the tensors VIWJ form a basis for VW. Therefore, if V and W are finite dimensional, the dimension of the tensor product is the product of dimensions of the original spaces, for instance, room Rn is isomorphic to Rmn. <laughs> tensor product of linear maps The tensor product also operates on linear maps between vector spaces. Specifically, given two linear maps S, Vx and T, Wy between vector spaces, the tensor product of the two linear maps S and T is a linear map S T V W X Y Display style S O times T V O times W to X O times Y defined by s t v w equals s v t w display style s o times t v o times w equals s v o times t w in this way the tensor product becomes a bifunctor from the category of vector spaces to itself covariant in both arguments if s and t are both injective surjective or continuous then st is respectively injective surjective continuous by choosing bases of all vector spaces involved the linear maps s and t can be represented by matrices then the matrix describing the tensor product st is the kronecker product of the two matrices 
For example, if V, X, W, and Y above are all two-dimensional and bases have been fixed for all of them, and S and T are given by the matrices A 1 1 A 1 2 A 2 1 A 2 2 B 1 1 B 1 2 B 2 1 B 2 2 Display style begin B matrix are underscore one one and are underscore one two are underscore two one and are underscore two two end B matrix Q quad begin B matrix B underscore one one and B underscore one two B underscore two one and B underscore two two end B matrix respectively then the tensor product of these two matrices is a one one a one two a two one a two two B one one B one two B two one B Two two equals a one one B one one B one two B two one B two two a one two B one one B one two B two one B two two a two one B one one B one two B two one B two two a two two B one one B one two B two one B two two equals a one one B one one A one one B one two A one two B one one A one two B one two one one B two one a one one B two two a one two B two one a one two B two Two a two one B one one a two one B one two a two two B one one a two two B one two a two one B two one a two one B two two a two two B two one a two two B two two 
Display style begin B matrix are underscore one one and are underscore one two are underscore two one and are underscore two two end B matrix O times begin B matrix B underscore one one and B underscore one two B underscore two one and B underscore two two end B matrix equals begin B matrix are underscore one one begin B matrix B underscore one one and B underscore one two B underscore two one and B underscore two 2, 2 end B matrix and are underscore 1, 2 begin B matrix B underscore 1, 1 and B underscore 1, 2 B underscore 2, 1 and B underscore 2, 2 end B matrix and are underscore 2, 1 begin B matrix B underscore 1, 1 and B underscore 1, 2 B underscore 2, 1 and B underscore 2, 2 end B matrix and are underscore 2, 2 begin B matrix B underscore 1, 1 and B underscore 1, 2 B underscore two one and B underscore two two end B matrix end B matrix equals begin B matrix are underscore one one B underscore one one and are underscore one one B underscore one two and are underscore one two B underscore one one and are underscore one two B underscore one two are underscore one one B underscore two one and are underscore one one B underscore two two and are underscore one two B underscore two one and are underscore one two B underscore two two are underscore two one B underscore one one and are underscore two one B underscore one two and are underscore two two B underscore one one and are underscore two two B underscore one two are underscore two one B underscore two one and are underscore two one B underscore two two and are underscore two two B underscore two one and are underscore two two B underscore two two end B matrix the resultant rank is at most 4, and thus the resultant dimension is 4. Here rank denotes the tensor rank number of requisite indices, while the matrix rank counts the number of degrees of freedom in the resulting array. A dyadic product is the special case of the tensor product between two vectors of the same dimension. <laughs> Universal property In the context of vector spaces, the tensor product V W display style V O times W and the associated bilinear map phi V times W V W display style var phi V times W to V O times W are characterized up to isomorphism by a universal property regarding bilinear maps. Recall that a bilinear map is a function that is separately linear in each of its arguments, informally. Phi display style var phi is the most general bilinear map out of v times w display style v times w. The vector space v w display style v o times w and the associated bilinear map phi v times w v w display style var phi v times w to v o times w have the property that any bilinear map h v times w z Display style h v times w to z from v times w display style v times w to any vector space z display style z factors through phi display style var phi uniquely by saying h display style h Factors through phi display style var phi uniquely, we mean that there is a unique linear map H tilde v w z display style tilde h v o times w to z such that h equals h tilde phi Display style h equals tilde h circ phi. 
This characterization can simplify proofs about the tensor product. For example, the tensor product is symmetric, meaning there is a canonical isomorphism V W W V display style V O times W Kong W O times V to construct, say, a map from V W display style V O times W to W V display style W O times V it suffices to give a bilinear map H V times W W V display style H V times W to W O times V that maps V W display style V W to W V display style W O times V then the universal property of V W display style V O times W means H display style H factors into a map H tilde V W W V display style tilde H V O times W to W O times V a map G tilde W V V W display style tilde G W O times V to V O times W in the opposite direction is similarly defined and one checks that the two linear maps H tilde display style tilde H and G tilde display style tilde G are inverse to one another by again using their universal properties Similar reasoning can be used to show that the tensor product is associative, that is, there are natural isomorphisms V 1 V 2 V 3 V 1 V 2 V 3 Display style v underscore one o times v underscore two o times v underscore three kong v underscore one o times v underscore two o times v underscore three. Therefore, it is customary to omit the parentheses and write v one v two v three. Display style v underscore one o times v underscore two o times v underscore three. The category of vector spaces with tensor product is an example of a symmetric monoidal category. The universal property definition of a tensor product is valid in more categories than just the category of vector spaces. Instead of using multilinear bilinear maps, the general tensor product definition uses multimorphisms. Topic. Tensor powers and braiding Let n be a non-negative integer. The nth tensor power of the vector space V is the n-fold tensor product of V with itself. That is V n equals d e f v v n Display style v caret o times n overset mathrm def equals under brace v o times c d o t s o times v underscore n a permutation sigma of the set one two n determines a mapping of the nth Cartesian power of v as follows sigma v n v n sigma v one V two V N equals V Sigma one V Sigma two V Sigma N Displaced all 
E begin cases sigma colon V carrot N to V carrot N sigma V underscore one V underscore two C D O T S V underscore N equals left V underscore sigma one V underscore sigma two C D O T S V underscore sigma N right end cases let Phi V N V N Display style var phi colon v caret n to v caret o times n be the natural multilinear embedding of the Cartesian power of v into the tensor power of v. Then, by the universal property, there is a unique isomorphism. Tau sigma v n v n display style tau underscore sigma colon v caret o times n to v caret o times n such that phi sigma equals tau sigma phi display style phi circ sigma equals tau underscore sigma circ phi the isomorphism T's is called the braiding map associated to the permutation sigma topic product of tensors For non-negative integers R and S A type R, S tensor on a vector space V is an element of T S R V equals V V R V V S equals V R V S Display style t underscore s caret r v equals under brace v o times dots o times v underscore r o times under brace v caret asterisk o times dots o times v caret asterisk underscore s equals v caret o times r o times v caret asterisk o times s. Here v is the dual vector space, which consists of all linear maps f from v to the ground field K. There is a product map called the tensor product of tensors. T S R V K T S R V T S plus S R plus R V Display style T underscore S carrot R V O times underscore K T underscore S carrot R V to T underscore S plus S carrot R plus R V It is defined by grouping all occurring factors V together, writing V I for an element of V and Phi for elements of the dual space V one F one V one equals V one V one F one Display style V underscore one O times F underscore one O times V underscore one equals V underscore one O times V underscore one O times F underscore one Picking a basis of V and the corresponding dual basis of V naturally induces a basis for TRs V this basis is described in the article on Kronecker products. In terms of these bases, the components of a tensor product of two or more tensors can be computed. For example, if f and g are two covariant tensors of rank m and n respectively, i.e., f element of t zero meters and g element of t zero n, then the components of their tensor product are given by f g i one i two i m plus n equals f i 1 i 2 i m g i m plus 1 i m plus 2 i m plus 3 i m plus 
n display style f o times g underscore i underscore one i underscore two l dots i underscore m plus n equals f underscore i underscore one i underscore two l dots i underscore m g underscore i underscore m plus one i underscore m plus two i underscore m plus three l dots i underscore m plus n Thus, the components of the tensor product of two tensors are the ordinary product of the components of each tensor. Another example, let U be a tensor of type 1, 1 with components U ab, and let V be a tensor of type 1, 0 with components V gamma. Then U alpha beta V gamma equals U V alpha Beta gamma display style u caret alpha underscore beta v caret gamma equals u o times v caret alpha underscore beta caret gamma and v mu u nu sigma equals v u mu nu sigma Display style v caret mu u caret nu underscore sigma equals v o times u caret mu nu underscore sigma. Products of tensors form an algebra called the tensor algebra. Topic: Relation to dual space. A particular example is the tensor product of some vector space V with its dual vector space V which consists of all linear maps F from V to the ground field K. In this case, there is a canonical evaluation map V V K V O times V caret asterisk to K which on elementary tensors is defined by V F F V display style V o times F maps to F V the resulting map T s R V T s minus 1 R minus 1 V Display style T underscore S carrot R V to T underscore S one carrot R one V is called tensor contraction for R S greater than zero. On the other hand, if V is finite dimensional, there is a canonical map in the other direction called the coevaluation map K V V Lambda I Lambda V I V I display style k to v o times v caret asterisk lambda maps to sum underscore i lambda v underscore i o times v underscore i caret asterisk where v one v n is any basis of v and v i is its dual basis. Surprisingly, this map does not depend on our choice of basis. The interplay of evaluation and coevaluation map can be used to characterize finite dimensional vector spaces without referring to bases. equals 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 tensor product vs. Hom equals 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 Given two finite dimensional vector spaces U, V, denote the dual space of U as U asterisk, we have the following relation U V H O M U V display style u caret asterisk o times v cong mathrm hom u v an isomorphism can be defined by alpha u v h o m u v Display style alpha u caret asterisk o times v right arrow mathrm hom u v. When acting on pure tensors u v u v u equals u u v. Display style u caret asterisk o times v maps to u caret asterisk o times v u equals u caret asterisk u v. It's 
inverse can be defined in a similar manner as above relation to dual space using dual basis u i display style u underscore i caret asterisk h o m u v u v f i u i f U I display style mathrm hom U V to U carrot asterisk O times V quad F C D O T mapsto sum underscore I U underscore I carrot asterisk O times F U underscore I This result implies dim U V equals dim U dim V Display style dim u o times v equals dim u dim v, which automatically gives the important fact that u i v j display style u underscore i o times v underscore j forms a basis for u v display style u o times v, where u i V J display style u underscore i v underscore j a basis of u and v. Furthermore, given three vector spaces u, v, w, the tensor product is linked to the vector space of all linear maps as follows: H O M U V W H O M U H O M V W Display style mathrm hom U O times V W Kong mathrm hom U mathrm hom V W Here hom denotes the K vector space of all linear maps. This is an example of adjoint functors, the tensor product is left adjoint to hom. Topic: Adjoint representation. The tensor T S R V display style script style T underscore S caret R V may be naturally viewed as a module for the Lie algebra and V by means of the diagonal action. For simplicity, let us assume R. Topic S one then for each U element of end V U A B equals U A B minus A U B Display style U A O times B equals U A O times B A O times U carrot asterisk B where u in end v is the transpose of u, that is, in terms of the obvious pairing on v v u a b equals a u b display style wrangle u a b wrangle equals wrangle a u caret asterisk b wrangle. There is a canonical isomorphism t one one V E N D V display style script style T underscore one carrot one V right arrow mathrm end V given by a B X equals X B a display style a O times B X equals Langle X B wrangle A under this isomorphism, every u in end v may be first viewed as an endomorphism of t one one v display style script style t underscore one caret one v and then viewed as an endomorphism of end v. In fact, it is the adjoint representation ad u of end v.
Topic: <laughs> Tensor products of modules over a ring. The tensor product of two modules A and B over a commutative ring R is defined in exactly the same way as the tensor product of vector spaces over a field. A R B equals F A times B G display style A O times underscore R B equals F A times B G when O F a times B is the free R module generated by the Cartesian product and G is the R module generated by the same relations as above. More generally, the tensor product can be defined even if the ring is non-commutative In this case A has to be a right R module and B is a left R module, and instead of the last two relations above, the relation A R B minus a R B display style R B A R B is imposed. If R is non-commutative, this is no longer an R module, but just an abelian group. The universal property also carries over, slightly modified, the map phi a times B A R B defined by A B A B is a middle linear map referred to as the canonical middle linear map. That is, it satisfies phi a plus a b equals phi a b plus phi a b phi a b plus b equals phi a b plus phi a b phi a r b equals phi a r b Display style begin aligned phi a plus a b equals phi a b plus phi a b phi a b plus b equals phi a b plus phi a b phi r b equals phi a r b end aligned. The first two properties make phi a bilinear map of the abelian group A times B for any middle linear map psi of A times B. A unique group homomorphism f of a r b satisfies psi equals f phi, and this property determines phi display style phi within group isomorphism see the main article for details topic <laughs> tensor product of modules over a non commutative ring let a be a right r module and b be a left r module b then the tensor product of a and b is an abelian group defined by R B equals F A times B G display style A O times underscore R B equals F A times B G where F A times B display style F A times B is a free abelian group over times b display style a times b and g is a subgroup of f a times b display style f a times b generated by relations a a 1 a 2 element of a b B one B two element of B R element of R A one B plus a two B minus a one plus a two B A B one 
plus a b 2 minus a b 1 plus b 2 a r b minus a r b Display style begin aligned and for a a underscore one a underscore two in a for b b underscore one b underscore two in b for r in r and a underscore one b plus a underscore two b a underscore one plus a underscore two b and a b underscore one plus a b underscore two a b underscore one plus b underscore two and r b a r b end aligned. The universal property can be stated as follows. Let G be an abelian group with a map Q A times B G display style Q A times B right arrow G, which is bilinear in the sense that Q A one plus A two B equals Q A one B plus Q A two B Q A B one plus B two equals Q A B one plus Q A B two Q A R B equals Q A R B display style begin aligned and Q A underscore one plus A underscore two B equals Q A underscore one B plus Q A underscore two B and Q A B underscore one plus B underscore two equals Q A B underscore one plus Q A B underscore two and Q R B equals Q A R B end aligned then there is a unique map Q a B G display style overline Q A O times B right arrow G such that Q a B equals Q a B display style overline Q a O times B equals Q a B for every a element of a B element of B display style a in a B in B furthermore we can give a R B display style a O times underscore R B a module structure under some extra conditions one if a was a s r b module, then a r b display style a o times underscore r b is a left s module where s a b equals s a b display style s a o times b equals s a o times b. Two. If b was a r s b module, then a r b display style a o times underscore r b is a right s module where B S equals a B S display style a O times B S equals a O times B S three. If R was a commutative ring, then A and B are R R B modules where R A equals A R display style R equals R and B R equals R B display style B R equals R B by one A R B display style A O times underscore R B is a left arm module by two A R B display style A O times underscore R B is a right R module. So we can conclude A R B display style A O times underscore R B is a R R B module. Topic: Computing the tensor product. For vector spaces, the tensor product V W is quickly computed since bases of V of W immediately determine a basis of V W, as was mentioned above. 
For modules over a general commutative ring, not every module is free. For example, Z, NZ is not a free abelian group equals Z module. The tensor product with Z, NZ is given by M Z Z N Z equals M N M Display style M O times underscore Math BF Z Math BF Z N Math BF Z equals M nanometer more generally, given a presentation of some R module M, that is, a number of generators Mi element of M, I element of I together with relations J element of J A J I M I equals zero Display style sum underscore J in J A underscore G M underscore I equals zero with RG element of R, the tensor product can be computed as the following co-kernel M R N equals coca N J N I display style M O times underscore R N equals operator name coca N carrot J right arrow N carrot I here nj, equals j element of jn and the map is determined by sending some n element of n in the jth copy of nj to adjun in Ni. Colloquially, this may be rephrased by saying that a presentation of m gives rise to a presentation of mrn this is referred to by saying that the tensor product is a right exact functor. It is not in general left exact, that is, given an injective map of R modules m1 m2, the tensor product m 1 R N M two R N display style M underscore one O times underscore R N to M underscore two O times underscore R N is not usually injective. For example, tensoring the injective map given by multiplication with n, n, z, z with z, n, z yields the zero map zero z, n, z, z, n, z, which is not injective. Higher Tor functors measure the defect of the tensor product being not left exact. All higher Tor functors are assembled in the derived tensor product. Topic: <tensor>, <tensor>, tensor product of algebras. Let R be a commutative ring. The tensor product of R modules applies, in particular, if A and B are R algebras. In this case, the tensor product ARB is an R algebra itself by putting a 1 B 1 a 2 B 2 equals a 1 a 2 B 1 B 2 Display style a underscore one o times b underscore one c d o t a underscore two o times b underscore two equals a underscore one c d o t a underscore two o times b underscore one c d o t b underscore two. For example, r x r r y r x y Display style r x o times underscore r r y kong r x y. A particular example is when A and B are fields containing a common subfield R. The tensor product of fields is closely related to Galois theory. If say A equals R x f x, where f is some irreducible polynomial with coefficients in R, the tensor product can be calculated as a r b b x f x display style a o times underscore r b kong b x f x where now f is interpreted as the same polynomial but with its coefficients regarded as elements of b in the larger field b the polynomial may become reducible which brings in galois theory for example if a equals b is a galois extension of r then a r a a X F X 
Display style a o times underscore r a cong a x f x is isomorphic as an a algebra to the adag f. Topic: Eigen configurations of tensors. Square matrices A with entries in a field K represent linear maps of vector spaces, say K n K n display style K caret n to K caret n, and thus linear maps psi p n minus one p n minus one Display style psi math bound p caret n one to math bound p caret n one a projective spaces over k display style k if a is non singular then psi display style psi is well defined everywhere and the eigenvectors of a display style a correspond to the fixed points of psi Display style psi. The eigen configuration of A consists of n display style n points in P n minus one display style math bound P caret n one provided a display style A is generic and K is algebraically closed. The fixed points of nonlinear maps are the eigenvectors of tensors. Let a equals a i one i two i d display style a equals a underscore i underscore one i underscore two c d o t s i underscore d b a d display style d Dimensional tensor of format n times n times times n display style n times n times c d o t s times n with entries a i one i two i d Display style are underscore I underscore one I underscore two C D O T S I underscore D lying in an algebraically closed field K Display style K of characteristic zero. Such a tensor a element of K N D Display style A in K carrot N carrot O times D defines polynomial maps k n k n display style k caret n to k caret n and p n minus 1 p n minus 1 display style math bound p caret n 1 to math bound p caret n 1 with coordinates psi i x one x n equals j two equals one n j three equals one n j d equals one N A I J two J three J D X J two X J three X J D four equals one N Display style Psi underscore I x underscore one 
x underscore n equals sum underscore j underscore two equals one carrot n sum underscore j underscore three equals one carrot n c d o t s sum underscore j underscore d equals one carrot n a underscore i j underscore two j underscore three c d o t s j underscore d x underscore j underscore two x underscore j underscore three c d o t s x underscore j underscore d m box four i equals one N thus each of the N display style N coordinates of psi display style psi is a homogeneous polynomial psi I display style psi underscore I a degree D minus one display style D one X equals X one X N display style math BF X equals X underscore one X underscore N. The eigenvectors of A display style A are the solutions of the constraint rank X one by two X N psi one X psi two X psi N X one display style M box rank begin P matrix X underscore one and X underscore two and C D O T S and X underscore N psi underscore one Math BF X and psi underscore two Math BF X and C D O T S and psi underscore N Math BF X end P matrix L E Q one and the eigen configuration is given by the variety of the two times two display style two times two minors of this matrix. Topic: Other examples of tensor products. Topic: Tensor product of Hilbert spaces. Hilbert spaces generalize finite dimensional vector spaces to countably infinite dimensions. The tensor product is still defined, it is the tensor product of Hilbert spaces. <laughs> Topological tensor product When the basis for a vector space is no longer countable, then the appropriate axiomatic formalization for the vector space is that of a topological vector space. The tensor product is still defined, it is the topological tensor product. <laughs> tensor product of graded vector spaces Some vector spaces can be decomposed into direct sums of subspaces. In such cases, the tensor product of two spaces can be decomposed into sums of products of the subspaces in analogy to the way that multiplication distributes over addition. <laughs> tensor product of representations Vector spaces endowed with an additional multiplicative structure are called algebras. The tensor product of such algebras is described by the Littlewood-Richardson rule. Topic: <tensor, <tensor, tensor product of quadratic forms. Topic: tensor product of multilinear forms. Given two multilinear forms f x one x k display style script style f x underscore one dots x underscore k and g x one x m display style script style g x underscore one dots x underscore m on a vector space v display style v over the field k display style k their tensor product is the multilinear form f g x 1 x k plus m equals f x 1 
x k g x k plus 1 x k plus m Display style F O times G X underscore one dots X underscore K plus M equals F X underscore one dots X underscore K G X underscore K plus one dots X underscore K plus M. This is a special case of the product of tensors if they are seen as multilinear maps, see also tensors as multilinear maps. Thus the components of the tensor product of multilinear forms can be computed by the Kronecker product. Topic. Tensor product of sheaves of modules Topic. Tensor product of line bundles Topic. Tensor product of fields Topic. Tensor product of graphs It should be mentioned that, though called, tensor product, this is not a tensor product of graphs in the above sense, actually it is the category theoretic product in the category of graphs and graph homomorphisms. However it is actually the Kronecker tensor product of the adjacency matrices of the graphs. Compare also the section tensor product of linear maps above. Topic: Monoidal categories. The most general setting for the tensor product is the monoidal category. It captures the algebraic essence of tensoring without making any specific reference to what is being tensored. Thus, all tensor products can be expressed as an application of the monoidal category to some particular setting, acting on some particular objects. Topic. Quotient algebras A number of important subspaces of the tensor algebra can be constructed as quotients, these include the exterior algebra, the symmetric algebra, the Clifford algebra, the Weyl algebra, and the universal enveloping algebra in general. The exterior algebra is constructed from the exterior product. Given a vector space V, the exterior product V V Display style v wedge v is defined as v v equals v v v v for all v element of v display style v wedge v equals v o times v v o times v text for all v in v Note that when the underlying field of V does not have characteristic 2, then this definition is equivalent to V V equals V V V 1 V 2 plus V 2 V 1 for all V 1 V two element of V display style V wedge V equals V O times V V underscore one O times V underscore two plus V underscore two O times V underscore one text for all V underscore one V underscore two in V the image of V one V two Display style v underscore one o times v underscore two in the exterior product is usually denoted v one v two display style v underscore one wedge v underscore two and satisfies by construction v one v two equals minus V two V one Display style V underscore one wedge V underscore two equals V underscore two wedge V underscore one. 
Similar constructions are possible for v v display style v o times dots o times v n factors giving rise to lambda n v display style lambda caret n v the nth exterior power of v the latter notion is the basis of differential n forms the symmetric algebra is constructed in a similar manner from the symmetric product v v equals v v v 1 v 2 minus v 2 v 1 for all v 1 v 2 element of v Display style v o dot v equals v o times v v underscore one o times v underscore two v underscore two o times v underscore one text for all v underscore one v underscore two in v. More generally, sim n v equals v v n v i v I plus one minus V I plus one V I Display style operator name sim carrot n v equals under brace v o times dots o times v underscore n dots o times v underscore i o times v underscore i plus one o times dots dots o times v underscore i plus one o times v underscore i o times dots. That is, in the symmetric algebra, two adjacent vectors and therefore all of them can be interchanged. The resulting objects are called symmetric tensors. Additional algebras result from quotienting by other polynomials. The general case is given by the universal enveloping algebras. Topic: <tensor>, <tensor>, Tensor product in programming. Topic: <tensor> <tensor> Array programming languages. Array programming languages may have this pattern built in. For example, in APL the tensor product is expressed as times for example a times b or a times b times c. In J the tensor product is the dyadic form of asterisk for example a asterisk b or a asterisk b asterisk c. Note that J's treatment also allows the representation of some tensor fields as a and b may be functions instead of constants. This product of two functions is a derived function, and if a and b are differentiable, then a asterisk b is differentiable. However, these kinds of notation are not universally present in array languages. Other array languages may require explicit treatment of indices for example, MATLAB, and or may not support higher order functions such as the Jacobian derivative for example, Fortran, APL. Topic. See also Dyadic product Extension of scalars Tensor algebra Tensor contraction Topological tensor product Monoidal category Notes <laughs>